In 1961, the Kennedy administration, led by Secretary McNamara, undertook a broad review of defense programs, numbering more than 150 different management initiatives. During this period, there were serious and legitimate concerns about the Soviet Union's chemical and biological warfare program. The tests were not conducted to evaluate the effects of dangerous agents on people. As such, they were not medical tests, but were operational tests of warfighting capability. In some cases, there was spraying of agent in the air. In other cases, at more near range, half of the tests were uh, maybe a little less than half used live agents and roughly half used simulants. These operational tests were conducted over land as well as at sea and included locations in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Canada. Our best estimate today is that roughly 5,000 service members were involved in the sea-based tests and roughly 500 in the land-based tests. We do know that some civilians were exposed in tests that occurred in Hawaii, possibly in Alaska, and possibly in Florida. Because it was operational in nature and not a medical human subjects type of research, I would presume that it was not voluntary, that people were part of units that were doing this kind of work and were expected to, to do that kind of work. The department has worked diligently to release the medical relevant facts about this testing and to ensure that the VA has the information it needs to respond to questions and benefit claims from veterans. We're on track to meet our stated promise of having all relevant information released by spring of 03. I'm optimistic that, barring any unforeseen problems, we'll have concluded the effort far in advance of that time.